my wife has made me stand down today. So all I've done is uh, bust a big old piece of plate glass and uh, unsuccessfully shore up a fence. I'm going to walk you around my shack for an in-depth view, shall we? Those are my wife's new M3 translator earbuds. We're going to see if those work better than Google Translate. That was one of her Christmas presents. I use a uh, cam while I'm driving to record traffic. That's my double off brand GoPro. That's an off brand Mobius that I actually like a lot. The uh, Instacam 1X or X1, I can't remember which, but that's a second generation and it's it's actually pretty good my uh, old work truck model you can see there let's start the fun on this side as well that sign was taken from one of the hurricanes probably 20 years ago down in southwest florida devastated southwest florida a friend gave me this That was out at my radio control uh, club. Both busted props. I think they make just fine uh, adornments to my hobby room. Those are flex cuffs. We use those uh, when you run out of handcuffs. That's a steel trap, which is illegal in Florida. One of the many signs my wife buys me a trail sign. I don't know what that prop goes to. I don't know. My uh, former agency. We had a pretty neat reward system. When you go to court as a bad guy, the judge will make you voluntarily donate to this program. And it's really a, a program that's self-funded for bad guys. So if you call me up with a tip, and I make an arrest, I give you money, cash, anonymously. You pull through a bank and you give a code, blue 32, and they give you the cash, whatever the code is. One of my uh, first planes, that's the sea wind that uh, when you crash it actually flies better. Put a gyro in it, makes it a whole lot easier. It's a Hobby King gyro. Texumo, my uh, first uh, wing, and that thing is wonderful. I have broken the nose off it a hundred times. I found the big icon, whatever that is, 1.6, 1.8, at a local hobby shop that was moving. And uh, I got it for like a hundred bucks. Of course, no electronics, but uh, yeah, it's a beast. And I fly it on 4S, I used to fly it on 6S, way too much. A uh, little UMX Cub a friend gave to me. When I first hired onto the agency, uh, they gave us what is known as a side handle baton. And, and the short of it is, is uh, when you swing that around, velocity equals power. They no longer use them. That's my uh, agency's seal. State park boundary sign. Another uh, cool steel sign that my wife bought me. more camping stuff these are state tags that's the department of environmental protection um, an agency uh, similar to ours another steel sign there were areas that are called bird sanctuaries that were legally uh, geographic areas that were bird sanctuaries where you legally could not hunt more steel signs one of my <laughs> many icons so there's one point six or 1.8 1.6 1 1.6 probably 1.6 this is 1.3 and uh that is the ultra micro icon more steel cool signs part of environmental regulation sign stolen uh this plane here is a uh, gws slow stick 
and it helped me learn to fly. It's so old now though, I think the foam is getting brittle. Uh, this is the gifted by a club member turbo timber. I guess there's more than one turbo timbers. Um, he advertised it for 200 bucks. Nobody bit. He advertised it for free. I happened to see it. I was still on the road at the time last year and uh, he agreed to hold on to it two weeks until I got home. Um, one of those weird uh, airplanes that our friends at uh, Hobby King makes. It's one of two EDF aircraft I have. I forget the name of it. That's weird too because I'm pretty good about it. Well, it's an... Uh, it's got an Indian on the front. This is uh, probably one point. No, it's more than that. It's uh, probably uh, three meters. Anyway, that's the uh, big fox. It's not 2.6. I think it's, it's uh, 3.0. And that's the powered glider fox. Fox glider. My work wife gave me this. Her dad had it and never used it. I thought it would be worthless. It's the Nirvana yacht. It's just shy of a meter. I love it so much. I was able to find all three sisters. Those are the colors locally. They were probably a grand new, and there's still a thread where you can get uh, you can get some guy makes sales for it. It's crazy. My uh, other EDF, the UMX. Hoglet, the UMX Timber, the UMX Altrix, a little Blade 130, eh, not so much in these days. And uh, this was gifted by, the little MIG UMX was gifted by um, Just Wing It, who I met out in, I think, Joshua Tree. This is all my stuff support for the hobby. I uh, went through this when I got home this year and threw a bunch of stuff away that's never ever going to get used. That's where I keep my whoops. That's how they'll travel when I go back up to Maine. But yeah, support. Dremel tool, Dremel tool kit in the back, uh, wired Dremel tool, one of the old Craftsman versions, seldom used. I bought a couple of models back before I retired six years ago because I was very, very nervous that uh, I may not have enough to do when I retire. And I'm like, well, I'll get models. I know how to build them. I don't know where that thing come from. Probably the club, who knows? Sit long, talk much. That would be my motto. Just uh, wall hangings. That was just given to me by my friend Jana and Joe. Um, I bought this some years ago. And uh, I rebuilt that. And that about two years ago. This one is, when you rebuild one of these, it's totally new. Um, you just, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have decals for it, so I had to get the other decals off of it and put them on here, and it turned out real good. Um, just bought a new, I don't know what I bought for this, a, a floats, I think, for sure. Um, tail feathers, maybe. I don't know if I bought wings for this or not. But I just bought a bunch of support stuff for it. Oh, a cowling, some other things, probably floats. Um, I had two of these. I murdered one getting it off of the uh, runway out at uh, the club. And uh, I still have some of the parts for it. They were a hundred bucks a piece uh, delivered from Hobby King. And there's a reason for it. They're really inconsistent. The CG is off on this by about a half mile. It's so squirrely, I'm actually afraid of it. And since I don't fly with any frequency, I uh, just gonna leave her there as a hanger queen for a while. Just crashed my Tundra. Um, this is a piece I actually needed off of that guy that sold it, his name's Walter. And I guess I didn't make it clear that I needed that, but I have the forward piece 
and I'm going to cobble this together and make a uh, make the float strut work. I'll actually end up cutting it here and here and then across here and I'll put this piece in that hole and then I'll take these outside pieces, trim them up and put them on here and make that work. I have probably a thousand flights on here, every bit of 800 on here easily. Um, here's yet another Icon A5. This is a wheeled version. It's got lights and uh, the previous owner who I bought this for for a hundred and probably 120 bucks met him out on the highway um, Put these on there. I think they're unnecessary, but he did put a lights forward lights on there. That's kind of neat uh, A fellow whose uh, handle is like M &M -M 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 -M, uh, Sent that to me very nice of him that's from RC Groups. I've had this thing for probably five years and it's stupid. I updated the motor in it. Um, this is the OG Timber and I'm in love with it. I've had it forever and it's just a, a lovely airplane and teaches me unbelievably bad habits because you can't stall it. Turns out you can stall this one though. <laughs> uh, these things are uh, what my friend uh, Ooh, 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 got me into and these are my go-to planes they travel with me when I'm on the road every time uh, something my wife did at team building on the job and she wanted to throw it away and I wouldn't let her um, really neat thing from our local Department of Environmental Protection it's a great tag it appears I must have put uh, lacquer on it because they don't come that way and they scratch really easy this is the agency I started out with before we took over Florida Marine Patrol. I actually don't have any Florida Marine Patrol stuff here. That is called a hurdy pot. I don't know what the, the bandana is for, but that pot is uh, tacked to a tree in the 1800s and early 1900s in Florida, and that's where we get uh, turpentine from. More state park stuff, Florida trails. I bought this thing probably a decade ago from it's a it's a an actual Align 500 um, from a guy in a local community that was a Vietnam War era pilot probably dead now he's at a retirement community he was scared of it could it couldn't get it to fly I bought it for it was like I don't know 2,500 bucks I bought it for like 800 dollars with the servos um, the Germans make something called. Uh, it's a something bar, B-A-R, and in here, I don't know if we can see it, probably not, oh, there it is right there. Hobby King reverse engineered it and they sold it as the Foo Bar. <laughs> and it's a stabilization gyro and it rocks. Um, that thing is so squirrely and I'm so old and I don't have 6S batteries for it and I don't like strapping batteries together to fly it that I don't know if it'll ever fly again. ZMR 250, it's five or eight years old. Um, really neat and uh, inefficient. You get about five flights out of it on a 1500 milliamp battery. But I love the thing. Uh, little blade. Um, they they were damaged. Their uh, MOSFETs would die in them. And that is what happened to that one. But it was fun as hell to fly. The Swamp Dog Airboat, another Hobby King special. Used to be fun to run that around with and chase Ellie. There's a great video of that. These things were under a hundred bucks shipped. I should have bought two of them because uh, it's got a fake ice engine on it. And it's just a lovely airplane, it really is. The Cunt Virgins, of which I just about hate. Um, 100 flights, 98 or FPV. I got some of those videos online as well. My lovely bride back when she was uh, the director of nursing, Florida Hospital East. Yet another steel sign, three-in-one printer, uh, some of my radio gear and cameras. Uh, that picture was taken uh, at Trimble Park. My uh, wife was on a bicycle and just having a lovely time riding around. And I, it's one of my favorite photos ever. In fact, it probably is probably my favorite photo. Um, these are people that uh, contacted me when I got my ham radio license, well, actually my very first contact was this guy right here. 
more agency stuff. A clock that I built for my dad in either 7th or 8th grade shop. He's passed away. Recognition of my almost 30 years of service. I just said I did 30 years, and I did. Um, but what I ended up doing was I didn't want to work another summer because it's so freaking hot here. I retired uh, just shy of 30 years. We'll call it 30 years. Um, FPV gear. Mavic Mini, which I've been flying, testing out my iPad solution at works. Um, boxes of spares and things over there for float planes and that sort of thing. My uh, Mavic Pro is right there. In fact, I'm fixing to pull that out here in the coming days and just uh, charge the batteries and just fly it. Um, a kit that I was going to use for radio control and never used. It used to be my tool kit, and I ended up moving over to another tool kit and just never used it. Spares. Uh, that's uh, FPV stuff that's never going to get used again. Uh, that actually probably needs to be tossed. I'll, I'll toss the FPV stuff, keep the the uh, tripod deal. More spares there. You can actually see with the camera. But you can see what I was going to do with the... Uh, <laughs> and it worked. Um, I did uh, uh, head tracking with that T28 over there, but I just never got around to it. Life ended up getting in the way. Empty G DJI boxes, stuff for spray paints, uh, stuff for painting aircraft. Yeah, there's the old wing on the one that I murdered. I just don't fly enough to be proficient on that stuff. And just parts and pieces. Well, there you have it. That was an in-depth tour of my uh, my little shack. I love the thing. I did a uh, 360 of it on my uh, 360 cam here a while back. Oh, my tools. Yeah, those are awesome. Gosh, those travel with me as well. I put glue and everything I need in there. But yeah. You have an idea now of what my shack looks like and kind of the story behind the aircraft. I am getting to the point where some of it may need to go um, that thing. It's just never going to fly again, so it gets used as a uh, you know a hangar queen. I mean, I could fly it. Flying, flying those helicopters, particularly now with the tech we have, not fun. I mean, it's scary. It makes you sweat in your shoes. A damn thing would kill you. Graveyard dead. But that's the shack. Oh, and that was made in, uh, this is the University of Florida mascot. That was made uh, by my son and Boy Scouts. All the best.